Each year, female humpbacked whales journey from their feeding grounds in Antarctica to Australia to have their calves. These calm, warm waters are a perfect nursery. Perfect, but for one thing. Orcas, killer whales. They appear just as the migration begins, and they're on the hunt for calves. Highly intelligent, orca are the ocean's most successful predator. When hunting, they can travel at 30 miles an hour, twice as fast as a mother and calf. The hunters close in silently. It's only now that the mother realizes they've been followed. The orca have the advantage of numbers, but they need to be cautious. The mother's rear is protected by a five meter wide tail that could slice through them. Her flanks are defended by a pair of long barnacle covered flippers. To separate mother from calf, the orca must use all their intelligence. They take it in turns to try and wave wash the baby away from its mother. In a month, the calf would be strong enough to withstand the onslaught. Not now. But then the tables are turned. A male humpback arrives, driving the orca away with its flippers. Now the pod faced the power of three 40-ton whales. The bubbles are like a smoke screen, blocking the orca's vision and sonar. There's a real danger of being injured by an unseen fluke or flipper. With the escorts defending both sides of the mother, the killer whales have been outmaneuvered. As the orca retreat, the escorts drive home their advantage, pushing the hunters further away. It's an error of judgment. With mother and calf unprotected, the orca double back before the humpbacks can react. The killer whales separate the calf from its mother. They push the calf underwater and drown it. The intelligent hunters have turned defeat into victory. The orca's prize is so large that sharks are quick to take advantage. Through intelligence, stamina, and teamwork, the orca have mastered the ocean's greatest challenge. 